I'm sorry. I, I, who did this? Who did it? Amanda. Pico, don't don't tell me you don't know who did this. who got you pregnant. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. But Abe, we have to know who did I said it doesn't matter. She's not pregnant. Um, Abe, you see, no matter how positive you want to... I said it, she is not pregnant. Eh? Again, Ekwano. Look, look here, you. You will do another test. We will go to a hospital far away from here, where nobody knows us. We will get the doctors to do whatever they need to do to ensure that the result comes out negative. And it stays like that. But it will stay like that. I should have bought. Shut up! But I said you are not pregnant. No, no, I can't do it. Hey, Mama. What did you say? You can't. Look at her. Look, just, just look at her. Raska, ketala. I can't. You will do it as I've said it. Because of you. Everything that I have worked for all my life, everything that we have been praying for as a family, everything at stake now. now do you think that the church will still post me to Netherlands with, with this madness? I, 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 I told you, I can't. But, Pico, no, Pico, Pico, Pico. It's not right. It's not right. Oh, you know what is not right? You know what is not right? When you were opening your legs for that lunatic? You, you know what? You... Uh, uh, what is it? Hey, what's that? What? No, no, no. 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 Oh, okay, wait, 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 Why have you come? Have you forgotten what the doctor said about your father, his heart and stressful situations? Please. Go. Mary. Go, butter. Sorry. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. Don't call me daddy. If you ever want to call me daddy again, then you must repent. And put yourself off of that iniquity. Then you have made your choice. 
Daddy, please. Daddy, please. I do not want to see you in my house when I come back. Mula, please, Mumi. Mumi, please, Mumi. Mumi, let me talk to me. Let me talk to you, Mumi. Let me ask him, Mumi. Mumi, please, let me just talk to you. Please, Mumi, please. Mumi, please. Mumi, please. Give him time. Give him time. How much time, Mumi? How much time? My lifetime. Mumi, where will I go? Where will I stay? For all the pain that you have cost me. That child that you are carrying will cause you so much pain. So much more. I got you something. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's in it? Okay, Amanda, I'll give you a clue. It has something to do with what I wanted us to talk about. Oh. The thing that you couldn't discuss on the phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the thing is, we have been going out for about six months now, right? And so I wanted us to, you know, take this thing. Uh, can you give me a few minutes? I, I, I need to get to the ladies. Like, I'll be right back. Is everything okay? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. <laughs> Hello, babe. Safa, what happened? Babe. Yeah, what do? Please don't tell me you forgot his wallet at home, my big. I think he's about to propose. Ah, yes! He's about to propose. Oh, my God! Yay! <laughs> oh, my God. Are you, are, are you serious? You should be grateful he's not one of those nonsense guys that will be forming a boyfriend for months. And he's about to propose a hair, so how do I cut the issue? Nora! Wait, you haven't told him about Nora? No. Babes, he's cheating now. The guy loves you. That's the same thing we thought about George and Okopi and Rogers. Beg, 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 beg. We're talking about somebody that makes sense here. Not all those idiots that heard you have a child and then decided to disappear because of your pain school face. Mm -mm, no. Amanda, level with me now. Why are you not feeling the guy? You know that I am. It's the only reason why I've not let him get intimate with me. I, I, are you joking? Six months, babes. Ah, uh ah. -uh. What? You know, so you cannot take your cobwebs for that place. <laughs> just thank God that I'm not that guy else. I'm not jack out. Maybe just go donate your thing for COVID. Ah, uh -uh. six months. Well, am I thankful you're not him? <laughs> On a serious note, I think you should just go out there. And tell him about Nora. It's Chidi. It's Chidi. He loves you. He's not going to do anything about it. That guy loves you, Dad. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. And when you get back there, just act surprised. Just move this. <laughs> okay? Me, I'm going to put wine inside the fridge. We're going to celebrate tonight. And when you get back, I'm going to be talking about our shred, beast, turf, colors, yellow. Stop, Joe. Oh. Let the proposal happen first before you start planning my wedding. My baby's about to get taken. Woo! Yeah, go. Come on, be going. <laughs> All right, bye. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Don't do it. Look, I didn't mean that. So sorry I listened to you from conversation. Don't tell him about your daughter. It never ends well. 
Same thing happened to me years ago. No one wanted to marry me because of my daughter. Fast forward to today, I'm here, celebrating my fourth year wedding anniversary. Until today, my husband thinks my daughter is my niece. <sighs> I'm sure you're wondering how I'm pulling it off. Well, as soon as we were married, I convinced him to send her to school abroad. Congrats on your soon-to-be engagement. Mm. Hey. You're back. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... You look like you have something on your mind. Actually, yes. You do? Okay, let it out. So while I was back there in the restroom, I was sort of trying to figure out a way to get you to tell me what's in the box. Like, because I hate surprises, so... Uh-huh. Okay, I'll tell you. So the thing is, I have, I, um... Go on, look, even if you killed someone, okay, did you kill anyone? Because <laughs> even if you did, look, I'll help you hide the body, huh? Okay, so out of it. I have a medical condition. Oh, wow. Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. How long have you been dealing with this? Bastard! You lying bastard! You are a stupid man! So this is the fellowship you are going for? Mabel, just... just oh, please keep quiet. I knew it. My instincts told me that you had started again. But I said, Mabel, come on, stay positive. Your darling husband has learned his lesson. He has changed. But then, I opened up your gift. And guess what I found? This. Does, does this look like a wife size? Does it? It's obviously not my size. Hey! Auntie, where do you think you're going? Sit down, dear. Don't let me change it for you here. Does, does, does this tiny thing, does it look like what your wife wears? Is, is this my size? I, I said you should not. This is you. It's obviously yours. Husband snatcher. Boko Boko. I shall want ten Let me see what you even bought for you. Shameless thing. You want to snatch my husband, Abby? <laughs> I said it. You see? God's gift. Purely natural. Not surgery. So Not lucky. Did you think this would be a size? You thought this would be a size, Abby? See your tomato breast. Okay. Does this look like your size? Okay, Mabel, Does it? You're embarrassing us. Why you, will you shut up here? Embarrassing what? What? The one was here. Women are scum. All of them. I tried. I really tried. I checked his online profile. There was no clue that he was married. Like, I'm done. I'm done with all of them. I'm done with all men. Ah! Is that him? Give me the phone. Let me talk. Let me, let me cross his life and his generation. Give me the phone. 
It's not her. Amanda. Yeah. Amanda. Seriously, it's some some guy who's obsessed with my blog and he keeps blowing up the comments. Yeah, give me the phone. Me, I know you're very cool. But me, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to help him find this closure. By the time I abuse his generation, I abuse everybody in his life. Michael 007. What's up? What's this one's gist? Like I said, he's some guy who is obsessed with my blog and he's just always in the comment section. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, baby. Hi. Oh, you're downstairs. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, give me like a minute. Yeah, 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 just a minute. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> okay. Um, that was Bella. He, he's fine. You can go. Honestly, I would have loved to stay with you. Really, I would, I would want to stay with you. But you know, I've just been postponing this date for about a month now, and it's not just. Month. I'll be okay, really. Are you sure. So what are you going to do when I'm gone? Oh, Shay, bad bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Shall I make sure that you don't overindulge because we don't want Nora waking up to a drunk mother. <laughs> I promise. Oh, Have fun. I will. Trust me. Wait. This Michael guy. No, don't you think he can, like... Hear me now. Let me just finish what I'm saying. Don't. I'm not sure to say that you... I mean, you can just chat up with him, you know? Just flirt. Flirt, say. Uh -uh. What? You're going to kill yourself because of a man? Eh? Is that what you want to do? You want to kill yourself because of a man? See, flirt with him. You and I know that nothing's good to come out of it. So just have fun. Just have fun now. I have to start going now. Go on. Okay, just take care of yourself, all right? Mm. Okay. Have fun. I will, I will. Are you sure going to be okay? Can we go, please? I'll be fine. Okay, I'll be back in an hour. Bye. I promise you, okay? Take Love care. you. Bye, mom. <laughs> Nora. Nora. Mommy. Shut down that laptop. Give me the phone. Mommy, please. We agreed on the rules and we also agreed on the consequences. Now give me the phone. Mommy, please, I got carried away. I didn't know it was already. Shut down that laptop. Bye. 
let me allow him to hang himself. <laughs> I just want you with me So you hold me like a party Girl, you so lucky I'm in the world You want some And the world It was our last night Hang over Hang over I'm in the world You want some And the world What? Nothing. No phone for you for the next two weeks. But mommy! Now sleep! Before I hold your phone until your next birthday. <laughs> I've been trying to get it on my own I've been digging way down low Look like I'm out here all alone You're not the only one I know I've been trying to get it on my own I've been digging way down low Look like I'm out here all alone I know that you heard it But I've been busy out here searching Amanda, oh. Amanda, we're running late now. Amanda. Amanda. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, are you still chatting with him since last night? No. Wait, whatever happened to, uh, you know, it's just one night, just for tonight. I'm just listening to amuse myself. I'm just going to take my time. No, 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 no. He, I'm just responding to his comments on my blog. That's really? all. Really? That's oh. all. I promise. Okay. Amanda, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Are you okay? I mean, with what happened last night, you're literally just carrying on like nothing happened. Life goes on, Kenny. Yes, I know life goes on, but are you really okay? I'm fine. Really? All right, so where is Nora? Okay, there she comes. Morning, Mommy. Morning, Auntie Ken. Morning, darling. Good morning. Good morning, Mommy. Better. I'm so sorry about what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Are you really? Okay. Do we have an agreement about not staying on the phone till late? <coughs> you know. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> now, go and wait for Auntie Kemi in her car. Okay. She's dropping you off today. But, Mommy, you said we're going to talk about my transfer in the morning. What's there to talk about again, darling? You're going to boarding school and that's it. But, Mommy... I don't have time for this this morning, okay? I'm running late. But Mr. Mike, my counselor is... I don't care what Mr. Mike says, Nora. I'm your parent. You're going to boarding school and that's it. Now go and wait for Auntie Kemi in her car. I'm done. I'm just done. 
watching, he's not been replying my text message just because I said, oh, I'm not going to spend the night at your place. It's just so selfish. And then the last time I spent the night at this place, you're not giving me sleep. Now so you just say, you just say, oh, oh, up and down. You're going to waste me my experience for a week. I could not feel my name. <laughs> you're laughing. No, 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 not at you. Someone just said something to my phone and just... Amanda, I left my department just to come and pour out my heart to you and then you're laughing at me. You can't even keep your eyes off Michael's text. You said it was Michael. Really, it's not. Yes, it's... Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Sorry. <laughs> you know, for Joa. <laughs> be deceiving yourself there. I see, and I don't know you falling in love for the guy. Falling in love. Oh, yes. A fat chance. Babe, my heart is locked away in a safe and I've thrown away the keys. Oh, really? This that I'm doing right here is called Catching Cruise. Mm. Yes. New. 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 Who's there? Come in. Hey. Uh, it's here before you. No? Okay, thank you. Ah! Your favorite food. Wait, from who? Oh, our new boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Uh, he knows your favorite food, he knows your favorite restaurant, and he's not your boyfriend. Not You're right. Boyfriend. Please tell me something else, I beg. But wait, oh. I thought when you both guys like to send flowers and stuff. Is that it? Wait, 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 wait. Kemi, why are you like this? Give me my phone. Joe. Hi, Michael. Kemi. This is Kemi. <laughs> Amanda's Kemi. best friend. Kemi. So we got the food you sent. Kemi. And Amanda absolutely loves it. Thank you so much. By the way, Michael, I thought what guys like to send flowers and all that stuff. What gives? Don't send. Ah! Don't send. <laughs> why are you like this now? I'm sorry, too late. Wait, why are you on Paramood? I thought you just wanted to catch crew. So? Is that why you have to send him stuff? Okay, just reply. How come he's awake by this time? Wait. Hello, Kimmy. Hi, Amanda. Very funny, Kimmy. Why I go send flower? That flower she go chop? <laughs> Wait, he sent another one. How was my pigeon? I've been watching Nigerian movies like you suggested, and one of them, I learned that sending flowers is a no-no. <laughs> I said this guy is smart. <laughs> you don't know your research die. <laughs> okay, now that lunch is here. Mommy, hmm? You said you're traveling again. Yeah, yeah, it's a work trip, but don't worry, I won't be gone for long. And Auntie Kemi is going to be here with you. And both of you can get up to all the mischief you get up to when mommy's not around. <laughs> but why can't your office people send someone else? Does it always have to be you? Okay. Your phone. When did I get it? Last time you traveled. So let's just assume that they sent someone else for this trip. Where would I get the travel bonus that I used to buy your phone and all the nice things I buy for you and even pay your school fees? Good. I think we're all done. Look at it. Do you like it? Then. Okay. Mommy, hmm? who's Michael? What? <coughs> what Michael? Auntie Kemi <coughs> always talks to me about a Michael that is your friend. Oh, oh that my, Michael, uh, my colleague, our colleague, our, <coughs> our colleague at work colleague. What? You can't I cough again? You know, my counselor in school, his name is Michael, Mr. Mike. He's really... Okay, nice. hold it. If this is about talking to Mr. Mike about going to boarding school, it's not going to happen. So drop it.
baby. I know you're not crazy about going to boarding school, but you have to trust that I'm making the best decision for you, for us. Are you ashamed of me? Chinoran, why would you think that? How could I ever be ashamed of you, baby? Please don't send me away. I promise to be good. Baby, I'm not. Amanda. Uh, what? Um, maybe let, let's talk about this later, okay? Alright? How did you find my place? Uh, sorry I showed up like this. You weren't responding to my messages. I've been trying to... Mona, well, what do you want? I just wanted to see you and check on you and see how things are... And now that you've done that, goodbye. Amanda, Amanda please. Please wait. Please. I get that you don't want to see us or hear from any of us. But Amanda, please. We are trying. Please. I'm, I'm sorry for the part I played. I was young and stupid. But really, I reacted how any other teenage girl would act when, when her sister gets pregnant for her boyfriend. You guys disowned me. Kicked me out onto the streets. But you know what? It's fine. Because I'm over it. Please tell me what we can do to make things right. Make things right. You know what? You tell me what grand plans you guys have to somehow erase pain. Oh, Pico, Pico. The horror. <laughs> the torture. Oh, that I went through. Homeless on the streets. The baby to fend for. And I, I can't imagine. No, you I can't. Because if you could, you would not be here asking me how to make things right. Mona, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Just give me time. Okay, fine. <clears throat> fine. How much time? my lifetime. I know I shouldn't have done that. I, I just thought it was high time you forgave That was them. not your place. I know. I, I told you. Everything I went through with them. But you can't continue to live your life like this. Else the bitterness will kill you. It doesn't make sense. why she came. This is what she came to show me, to rub it in my face that she's getting married. Tell me 
sleeping. I'm leaving for the airport now. Won't you say goodbye? in the back. Excuse me, would you like coffee or tea while no, you wait? No, thank you. I'm fine. Uh-huh. Okay, right away. You can head in now. Oh, thank you very much. Good morning, morning. Ms. Abraham. Good morning. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not a problem. Please call me Amanda. Cool. Thank you. Have a seat, Amanda. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm surprised you stopped over here. Most travel agents representing their companies are at the convention by now. Oh, um, yes. I wanted to meet with you in person before uh, meeting at the convention. So my organization believes strongly that we can do business that's mutually beneficial to us both. We saw the proposal you sent in and responded. We're in. We sent the mail to your office this morning. You must have been on the flight. Yes, I was. Well, that's great. Please don't tell me that's why you came over to the States. <laughs> I mean, securing this deal is very important to us, but also attending the convention is a very important annual commitment for us. Awesome. I feel better. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, I must get to the convention now. Absolutely. Um, thank you so much for meeting me on short notice. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you. May I give you a ride to the venue? Okay. I assume you're not driving. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Bert. Oh, more. I was getting ready to give the master of all presentation. Then he tells me they've agreed. Can you beat that? <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, babe, hold on. There's a call coming in. I'll call you right back. All right, cool. Hello? 
करो हेलो हुआ It's me. Me is not a name. Chimamanda, I know you, you know it's me, your mother. Please, please don't end the call again. Chimamanda, I we need to talk. No, we're not doing this. Chimamanda, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I've made my peace with your silence and the past. Let it stay that way. I've been calling her and she's not been picking up. Um, she's fine. Is she awake? Can I talk to her? Um, she's asleep. She's awake, isn't she? Okay, so like a mother, she knows how to hold grudges. You know what? Give her some time. She'll come around, okay? Now, how far? How's our lover boy? Have you guys met? Not yet, but I'm right now on my way to surprise him. Hey, Amanda, Amanda, you're still insistent on this surprise visit thing. And you are so vehemently against it because? Okay, so listen to me. I'd have a problem with it, but imagine if out of the blues, this guy just shows up at our doorstep and then at that particular point in time, you don't have makeup on. Don't get me wrong, it's not as if there's going to be a disaster or anything, but then you'd love to be at your best when you're meeting him for the first time, so... Look, I just want to meet the real him, right? Without any pretenses. Okay, oh, me, I've sure said my own, sure. This one that you're so serious about meeting, like, I don't get it. Anyway... I honestly hope this guy is as he looks on social media. I can be like, say the guy that like it is up to your old man. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many video calls with him, Kemi, and you know this. Where is all this coming from? I don't know. I'm just anxious for you. I know, no. Amanda, honestly, I really want this to work. Thank 
beautiful in person. You got me. Wait, Natasha! Natasha, it's Amanda! She's here! Oh my god, it's nice to finally meet you. He won't stop talking about you. Natasha's my cousin. Um... <laughs> Nice to meet you, Natasha. Oh, trust me, the pleasure's all mine. Um, I really hate to do this, but I have to get going. I was just stopping in to say hi. Um, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Me too. Um, well, I'll let you two lovebirds catch up, but you still owe me lunch sometime, okay? I'm fine. fine. <laughs> You're in New York? Yep. <laughs> what are you doing in New York? I got you this. Thank you. Come on, come sit down. Come on. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe you're here. <laughs> so, have you been out in the city yet? Oh. I have to take you around. Not yet. I've been very busy with the convention I'm here for. Uh, workaholic. Huh? That's me. <laughs> Weekdays are the best time for a tour, when you get to see the energy of the city. So do you want to split this? What? Forget I asked. You know what? I'll get it. Here you go. Right back. I'm sorry. I, I just want to be a good feminist, you know? I, I never know what you all want. Hey. Okay, y'all all set. Uh, here you go, ma'am. Thank you very much. Here you go, sir. Thanks. I, maybe we should have some wine? <laughs> I'll pass. Thank you. I'm just going to address the elephant in the room without asking to split the bill. Marco, just... it's, it's fine, really. It's, it's cool.
It's 2150. Okay. Hey, hey, don't don't worry about it. I got it. Thank you. <sighs> okay, then. Are you free tonight? We could go out for dinner. Um, I don't think so. I have reports to turn in. Okay, bye. Well, here, I'll walk you in. I will be fine. Thank you. Thanks for offering. Bye. All right. Hey, Amanda. Amanda. Uh, look. I, I know today should have gone a lot better. Look, I, it's fine. No, 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 it's not. I, just, I got nervous. And I got in my own way. But can, can we just try a fresh start? Can we hang out tomorrow? Please? I want to I wanna take you around the city. I'll pick you up in the morning, and it'll be great. Please. I'll text you later. That's how I turned and bumped into the waiter. Everything he was carrying spilled onto the ground. Jesus! Oh, Ma, he just blessed me grand open with this swear to me, I swear. Hey, babes, babes, you see why I know they do all this surprise thing? See, if I was a bad friend now, this would have been my I told you so moment. Shut up, useless person. <laughs> anyway, to cut a long story short. Ah! Uh, don't cut any long story short. No cottage, give me the food, just in total. In fact, oh yeah, give me backstory. I'm listening. Spill. <laughs> you don't get work tomorrow, Abby. Which work? I beg you. Last night I'll call you late. Me, we'll be see after this conversation. You get one film when I don't watch. I don't need to save and says, Oh yeah, just spill. I'm listening. Thank you. Anyway, he wants to meet up tomorrow. Um, I reluctantly agreed, sure, but. I beg, I beg, I think I'll pass. Babes, I'm on this one with you. <laughs> Just run and don't look back, as in Jaffa, Jaffa. Hi, Miss Amanda. You have a delivery from Mr. Michael. Hello? 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 Are you there? Hello? Hello, babes, what's happening? Babe, you wouldn't believe this. What? There are some small issues. Babes, it's too different. You know, get something we go show skin. You're not serious. No, 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 I'm serious, though. I'm serious. See, after all the serenading this guy gave you yesterday, babes, you have to update now. You have to upgrade. Give him stuffs. I wonder why I ever tell you anything. Amanda, okay, look at it this way. As it is right now, this guy has already seen the wife material side of you. It's high time you showed him the the other side of you, you know? The side that says, ooh, I'm a sexy goddess. I'm going to blow your brains. I give it to him, make him insane. Okay, I've heard. I have to go now. He should be at the lobby downstairs. No, 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 don't go out like this, I beg, I beg. Please don't sabotage us, I beg. Please, what did you walk you now? Not fall our hand. Thanks for your vote of confidence. You've been really helpful. Amanda, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Babe, this is the way this guy they carry you come out for morning on a weekday. You not get work? <laughs> I 
actually asked him yesterday. He says he's taking the week off. Oh. Love and tease. Love and one ting ting. Bye. I really loved your surprise from last night. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to hear it again. You said it a couple of times. Don't stop on my account. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah, sure. All right. Guys, welcome to MA Tours. I am Frank, and I'll be your tour guide for this trip. Nice to meet you, Frank. Michael. Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice and boy. Amanda. Amanda. All right. Thank you. you guys want to hop on in and we'll get started? Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry to make you get out. No, it's Got a big group today. Yeah. Watch your head. Yeah. All right. Liz, you just made it. I know. Huh. Thanks Got for reading. Hey. Oh, give me. Ah. Hey. Squeeze it. <laughs> Oh. All right. Oh. Hey, oh, just made it. Hi, I'm Liz. Hi, uh, Amanda. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Liz. Nice to meet you. Michael. Michael, Amanda, Liz, meet Larry, and, <laughs> and Isabella. Yeah, nice, nice, to nice to meet you. you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Honey, wake up. I told you we could sleep in. You insisted. Um, a bit. I'm up. I just <laughs> needed a power nap before the real fun began. <laughs> so funny thing, I was telling Amanda since I'm from New York, be her personal tour guide. Mm. But I wouldn't want to speak over you, you know. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I'm also from around here. I love going on these tours. I really love meeting new people. You know. Today's your lucky day. You're gonna get three tour guides for the price of one. <laughs> Shall we? We can take this ride wherever it goes. As long as you're with me, I feel at home. All right, so if you guys can see right up here on the right with that big spire is oh. the, oh, uh, the Empire State Building. Oh, you must recognize it from the music video, you know, with Jay-Z and the one with the Alicia Keys. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, it has 102 stories. And around here, we should still be able to see Times Square and Rockefeller Center. Oh, mm -hmm. oh we kind of in the same area. <laughs> the Brooklyn Bridge. It took two generations of a family to build. Contractors started the project in 1869 and they finished it oh, 14, 14 years later. That's right. Fun fact, 20 to 30 people died under its original construction, including the original designer of the bridge. Of, what was his name? John A. Roebling. Yes, right, right. He actually got his leg crushed by some boat and then they had to amputate his toes. I mean, he later died at tetanus and then his son took over the project. Isn't that eerie? There. <laughs> And here we are at Times Square. Guys, this is where the ball drops every year for New Year's yeah. Eve. Yeah. I don't know if you know that. There's also a lot of shows and Broadway theaters back there. The ball drop started in 1907, 1907. 
long did the tour guide say we're staying here in Central Park? I think it was like 30 minutes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> I had to get away from that. <laughs> I know, right? It's driving me crazy. Crazy. You wanna take a ride in one of those? Ooh, it looks really cool. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, you wanna come and ride with me one of these things? Uh, no thanks. Oh, come on. Come on, you can't go on one of these tours without riding in one of these things? Nah, I'd rather walk, thank you. I'd Are rather you walk. Yeah, 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 I'll walk. Let's get out of here. Every time. We can take this Did you know that the High Line was actually saved from demolition by neighborhood residents of the city of New York? And it actually opened in 2009 as a public space where visitors could experience nature, they could experience art and design, and other really cool stuff like buildings. Awesome. Um, you took a picture of me yeah. here, yeah. and you can go right so past go us. Ahead, I just want to take a picture. You can go. Oh, look, you guys want me to shot. Do you want me to get like in the? Can I? Can I be friends with we you? Don't, right actually, the no, no, we don't. We don't. Oh. We, you're good. You're good. She's so beautiful over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. And all right. Yeah, it's super. Mm -hmm. it's like, um... <laughs> New York is so beautiful. Yeah, really used to take my breath away. Lately, not so much. Why? Are you jaded? <laughs> no, not, not really. Just, I see all these millions of people and it feels like my special someone isn't out there. Oh. Now, that you're here. Oh, oh, Michael. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael, can you, can you help me take this picture? We'll just be a minute. A picture? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, so, so. Mm hmm. Hey. Do you see how old the thing? <clears throat> Young lady. Young lady, that lady is thirsty for your man. You need to mark your territory and put her in her place. Honey. Wait, I'm just telling the truth. I remember when Becky tried that nonsense back in the 70s. I pulled out her hair and I knocked out her front teeth. Till this day, she still has bald spots and wears veneers. And I still have my Larry. I'm so sorry. It's, it's OK, sir. Uh, do you know where the restroom is? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, like that. I'm trying to help this child out. This Maybe you throw me story. under the bus. Every time you tell me a story. Fuck. It is funny too, right? Because you got all the teeth out. Okay, last one. Here. Okay. Wow. This looks so good. Oh, hey. We should do this again sometime, you know, just the two of us. My friend Amanda is special. I'm trying to have a nice time with her, and you're getting in the way. Stay away. Hey, so I saw Michael on tour with an African lady. I wonder what he's up to. Dude, should I be surprised? I mean, the guy owns a freaking touring outfit. I don't understand why he's just trying to pass off as a regular customer. Two words for you, bro. Nigerian scam. 419. Those are five words. You get my point. Dude, when you're super rich like that, you can't be concerned with all these Nigerian guys. Come on. That is some batshit ignorance you just spewed out of your mouth. Look, I just call it like I see it. Just saying. Come on.
Hey, where you been? I've been looking all over for you. What's wrong? Why didn't you tell me that you owned the tourism outfit that's been taking us around? <laughs> I, uh, I didn't think it was... Don't worry. You won't have to deal with being scammed by yet another Nigerian. Goodbye, Michael. Amanda, please wait. Leave me, not I'm going to do Chris for you for here, you did Chris. So, after you heard, what did you do? I just told him off and left. Hello? Okay, he's rich. How rich are we talking about here? Seriously, Kemi. I just bared my soul out to you, and all you can think about is rich. <laughs> okay. Have you told him about Nora? No. Look at this. Imagine if he heard you had a daughter before you had the opportunity of telling him and he reacts this exact way you're reacting. How would it make you feel? You know you're not being fair right now. No, life is not fair, Amanda. And I'm your ride or die. I should be able to tell you the truth when you're messing up. Like you're messing up right now, babes. Look, all I'm just trying to say is sleep on it. If you wake up tomorrow and you feel the same way, that's fine. All right, no problem. I have to go. Bye. Amanda, I... Listen. Woke up this morning and rubbed my eyes. Took me a second, but I realized that I'm still Come the same on, answer your phone. I was yesterday. See, I made a promise to myself to make a change and better myself. I don't feel any difference, and that's a shame. Hi, uh, good morning. I need to speak with one of your guests. Yeah. No, I don't know. Her name's Amanda. Chimamanda Abraham. What? Amanda! Amanda! Amanda, please. Please, we have to talk. Please? Come on. All right. I'll get this. Look. I've been hurt so many times. People always trying to rip me off, even close friends. I get close to them and they disappear. How many times is someone supposed to deal with that before they, before they protect themselves? But I, I messed up and I'm, I'm truly sorry. What can I do to make this right? I'm not gonna let you go. So, um... When you got here, if you had found that I'd gone to the airport, were you going to do the whole rom-com cliche thing of chasing me down and delivering a heartfelt romantic speech? <laughs> that was the plan. See, 
<laughs> I for shock you, eh? You do say this in a film. I told I told him I him bad pass. <laughs> so I, I take it my pigeon's getting better? Like absolutely A plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Let's get this stuff, take it back upstairs. Okay? Some people want to chop life with fork and knife. Some other people want to journey every day. So how, how do I know about this place? Mm -hmm. Me, the guy who's all into travel and tourism. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Oh, All right. It's fine. This is Michael. Yeah, talk to me. Careful. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got it backwards. She is mine. That's hers. Why would you assume I want the jollof rice? Because she is spicy. That's what oh. I'm here for, man. Oh. Enjoy. Okay. Let's get going. Uh, do you want to take just a little bit first? I'll be all right. It's kind of... Heaven. It's not too spicy. No, it's okay. Are you kidding? Can I take a piece? How about it? Go on. You see? <laughs> Are you serious? What? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Really? Oh my God. So, I've been coming here since my college days. Some of my Nigerian buddies showed it to me. Love oh. this place. Oh my goodness, look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Learner, come on. <laughs> it's like yelling. They don't have buildings like that? Excuse me, we do have buildings like that okay. in Nigeria. <laughs> I'm why just are you saying so that impressed? this particular one is really tall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's all right. They're taller. <laughs> what? I know it's a shot in the dark, but I'm just going to put it out there. I think you should stay a few minutes. <laughs> Michael, come, come on. on. We're just now warming up to each other. I feel like we're just now being honest. I want you to know the real me better. Come I'm on. thinking. Come on. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. It's insanity. That's what that is. I know, it's right? Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, and so, now that you have finally emotionally blackmailed me into staying a few more days, what's the plan? Well, I'd like to take you to a place where I only take the closest people. Mm. You're gonna love it. In fact, you'll find it hard to leave. <laughs> okay, okay. So where is this magical place? My home. Um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to tell you something. Okay. This, you can, you can tell me anything. Um, Amanda, you can trust me. 
and feel safe. I mean, unless... Please don't tell me you're a vegetarian. I, I can't feel. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. Um, so the thing is, I have a daughter. All right. And? That's it. I have a daughter. I, 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 I don't understand. What, what are you expecting? That's meant to be a deal breaker for guys, right? <laughs> what, what guys have you been hanging out with? Are you serious? Is this a, is this a Nigerian thing? Do, do, do guys over there, they just can't, come on. Do they just like run away? You're not joking with me right now. No, I'm not. Like, are you for real? You're, you're making me worry about who you've been spending your time with because this doesn't make sense to me. This, the, uh, as with my opinion, I, uh, kind of questioning. I'd love to meet your daughter. What's her name? Chim Nora. Chim. Can I just say Nora? Yep. <laughs> I was just messing with you. That's what everybody calls her. Okay, good. So Chim Nora means as long as God is in control, everything will be okay. It's deep. Wish I had a Nigerian name. Could be Nigerian. I guess I'd have to be black first, right? Yes, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> Nora. Bet she's a lovely girl. Just like her mom. What? You had me thinking we were going to be out burying a body together or something. <laughs> and then I find out you have a daughter. You're weird. <laughs> no, come here, come here. I want to be a part of each and every part of your life. In totality. Come here. Come here. You're gonna make me cry. Let's go. days on it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Right? This is us, my old and faithful. Oh. Texas. <laughs> Long story. Let's go get your bag. Okay. <sighs> All right. Oh, so gentlemanly. There you go. Do what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Just take a ride along the bay We don't need to work We can sit around and play I've been waiting for so long to get away Baby, don't hold back All you gotta do is say What would you like to be satisfied with me? I've been counting How much further are we going? 
Oh, we'll be there soon. Oh. My little slice of heaven. You're going to love it. <laughs> Why do you think so? So you remember that blog entry you wrote about your bucket list? And on it, there was Cabin in the Woods? Have you really read all my blog posts? <laughs> of course. Look, I think you're a great writer. To be honest, I'm kind of hoping you might write an article while we're here. Witness greatness at work. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah? <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Fingers crossed. No okay. promises. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're getting me all excited now. Baby, drink champagne on the beach of Malibu. Cruising down the boulevard. Kissing in the backseat of the car. Making love under the stars. It's like the middle of nowhere. You don't like the mountains? It's beautiful, right? New experience. Ah. All right. After you? Mm -hmm. This is another rom-com cliche, but... Welcome to my humble abode. So... Nice? Whoa! Wow! That's a lot of dead animals. Well, I can't take credit for all of them. But it's home. Ah! Oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's just Edna. She, she takes care of the house for me. Oh. She's known me since I was an errant team. <laughs> Edna, you cannot be sneaking up on us like that. No, it's okay. It's okay. She... It's fine. No problem. So you're going to take her aside now? <laughs> <laughs> Edna, this is Amanda. She's our guest. Nice to meet you, ma. Um, Edna. She's not the most talkative. I really should let her go, but I keep her on because she doesn't have anyone. Just like me. Huh? But let's get you moved in.
So what your father said, the curse, it sounds like it did some serious emotional damage. Sometimes I, my daughter Nora, I feel like maybe my dad's curse is in effect, you know? She, she, she's always so moody and so defiant, like, I, I think she hates me. Well, that's just teenagers normal. They're always abnormal. <laughs> what your dad said, that's, that's just the pained words of a control freak parent. What you want to do, what you want to believe, that's, that's all that matters. Thank you, Dr. Phil. You're welcome, ma'am. I think I'm more a Tony Robbins guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. It has been so long since I've been this happy. I finally feel at peace. With everything that happened to you in Nigeria, I, 
I just want you to stay. I can take care of you. You complete me. I'm never letting you go. Never. I need food. <laughs> I'll go serve dinner, okay? Oh, so romantic. You just relax here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed dinner. I did. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. So when are we leaving for the airport tomorrow morning? It's a long way out here. And I don't want to be late for my flight. Well, I was hoping you'd stay a little longer. <laughs> Seriously, whatever charge there is to change it, I'll take care of it. Actually, I originally booked two weeks for this trip, but... No but. My travel agent will handle it. But, Nora, I need to get back to my daughter. Mm -hmm. She's not talking to me right now. Well, pulling Nora card, that's pretty <laughs> low. <laughs> no, oh, all come right, on. All right, all right. Only first thing in the morning. There you go. Somebody's missing me already. <laughs> yes. All right. Take this. Leave it. I'll get it. Why not? I'm, I'm not doing anything right now. And you made dinner, so... Just go freshen up. It's your last night, after all. Okay. Go on. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. I've just had a little bit too much to... Amanda! Thank God you're awake. Come here. Edna, you've got to stop scaring my guests. Please leave. I'm sorry about that. How are you feeling? Um, oh, my head hurts. What time is it? It's about 9 a.m. My flight. No, 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 no. You can't. You can't go on a trip right now. I've, I've called my doctor. He's on his way down to see you now. Yes, but I. I, I understand. I understand. I do. You can't go on a long trip right now. I won't allow it. I'm gonna get you better, okay? You'll be back on your feet in no time. You can jet off to see your Nora. Yes, but I need... Wait, wait, here, here, water. Water. Drink. There you go. Is that better? Best, sweetheart. I'm gonna go make you some chicken soup, okay?
what we have here. A few servings of this. Be better in no time. Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. I got your soup. Wake up, I got your soup. Come on. You go sit up. Come on. I got you. There we go. Now. Ready. And. Come on. I'm only going to say this once. You are not to come in here until I say otherwise. Do you understand? Here we go. Please. Please take me back to I will. I will. But you have to get well first. Yes, please. Yes. I need to. I know. I know. Sit, sit. Relax. Stressing will not make it any better. Here, here, here. Back, back. Got you. Have some. There we go. Come on, come on. That's it. You're gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. gonna be all right. I'm here to take care of you. I'll be here till the very end. Have you spoken to mom? I've been calling her, but she's not answering. Nora, I'm sure she's very busy. She's fine. Don't worry, she'll call you tomorrow, okay? No. Come on. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Please take me back. You need to eat. You need to regain your strength. Please. I need to go back. My daughter. They'll, they'll be.
Edna? Your phone. Please, do you know where my phone is? Please. I need my phone. I was worried what happened. I saw her. You saw who? Edna? Liz. I saw. I saw. Liz. This is worse than I thought. You, you're hallucinating. No. Ask Edna, saw. Ask Edna. Edna. Was someone here? You saw her. You saw her. You saw her. We'll need to get you to a hospital. My phone. Do you have it? Yeah, it's with me. Please, I need it. Please. Okay. Give me a second. Safety. You're hallucinating now. Michael, you don't know that. You're not a doctor. I need a doctor, please. I used to be a paramedic. I know a thing or two. Oh, let me out. Please, let me out. Please. Get some rest, dear. <laughs> Several women, mostly Nigerian, arrived to the States and then disappear. 
Michael is our prime suspect. It can all be traced back to him as the last contact before he went missing. He is sick. We need to get out of here now. Before... Don't move! What's going on? My name is Detective Sanders, and you are under arrest. Arrest? For what for? The kidnapping of Amanda Abraham. Don't be ridiculous. I will shoot you if you move any closer right now. Like Amanda, most of the women you bring up here are never heard from again. You killed them. What? Get on your knees. Amanda, are you okay? Hey. Did she hurt Get you? Get on your knees. Don't be afraid. It's all gonna be fine, but don't listen to her. I had some of my guys look into her. She's a nutcase. Shut she up. obsesses over men. She stalks them. Shut some up. Some of them have been killed. That badge, it's fake. He is lying. I told Ugh. you. Ugh. Sweetie, where are you going? Oh. Edna. <laughs> After all I've done for you, keeping you on when no one else would. Go. No time. Go. I'm not going without you, Edna. You trust her? You trust her more than you trust me? She's been there for every one of the girls. She's my family. I'm the only family she has. Say what you want. You will not kill this girl, too. You'll have to go through me. What will you do? Hmm? Amanda, go! Come back to me, and it'll be normal again. I promise. Nothing is normal, Vitas. You make me do evil, because I have no choice. It stops now. Amanda! I'm 
out here but us. You can go on for days and not get anywhere. Amanda! I don't want to shoot you, Amanda. I just want to talk. I don't want to kill you. Amanda! I hoped, I really prayed, that you would stay with me. I showed you nothing but the love. And just like the others, you want to leave me. Why am I so hard to love? Why are you leaving after all we shared? <laughs> Don't run from me. I love you. I swear I do. <laughs> Don't cry. No, 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 no. Don't cry. I don't want to see you cry. You made me mad. Because you made me kill Edna. She was all I had. And you made me kill her. But you know what? I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you if you promise not to run away again. <laughs> I promise. Okay, where's the gun? I promise. I promise. Do you see? I knew you'd come on.
He's been linked to the disappearance of over 15 women. What? Most of them Nigerian. Most of them we will discover when forensics is done are lying in those shallow graves that you led us to in the woods. So, did, did he get them all through his touring company? He never owned a touring company. We've arrested a couple of men who he paid to make women believe he's rich. He doesn't own anything. This cabin belongs to the first victim he killed. Thanks to Liz's passion and doggedness, this could have gone on for much longer. So is there anyone else that you've seen with him? Anyone at all that could also be in on this? Um, apart from Edna, he did say he had no family. Yeah, he never had family. He grew up in an orphanage that he fled from as a teenager to avoid therapy sessions and treatments for his mental disorder. Oh my goodness. Wait, there was a lady that I met with him in New York. Um, he said she was his cousin, Natasha. Not a blood relative. They grew up in the orphanage together. It's what they called each other in the orphanage. Cousins? Yeah, we've spoken to her. She's given us the backstory on his time there. She's terribly shocked by all this and swears she thought he was in treatments this whole time. Wow. So, why Nigerian women? Well, we're still gathering information, but we've contacted the Nigerian embassy. They're on standby to take care of whatever it is that you might need before you return home. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Is there anything else I can do for you right now? I need to get this. Excuse me. Hello, babe. Hello? Babes, have fun now. Why are you just do like this? You just abandon everybody. That's what it is, sweet, sweet. Long story. Can I talk to Nora, please? Wait. Wait, babes, are you okay? Look, I'll just see you later. Can I just talk to my baby? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Mommy. Hello? Mommy, are you okay? Mommy, I'm so sorry. I've been worried about you. I love you so, so much. I'm sorry, too. I miss you. I'm coming home. Oh, that is lovely. Oh my god, you know, this like? is beautiful. Mm. I like this one. Yeah, but this, this, this is like perfect. It suits my skin color. Mm. Like yeah, I'm getting married. Yeah. <laughs> mm, it's fine. This I'm is nice. Married. Okay, this one is for mm. you. I am for the entire family. Okay. 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 Shim Noram. Shim Noram, Mom. Shim Noram. Shim Noram. When 
the storms are 